And here we are again with the Samsung Active 2. This is PH Digital here and just want to show you one of the things that can happen. No sleep record today. What? And I've had this before and then all of a sudden it synchronizes and it thinks for a bit and then it's all fixed. But as you can tell the time of the day, it's noon. And if we look at the app here, it's also saying the same thing. Were you asleep from 22.20 to 06.20? Get better sleep by track, by keeping track of your habits and pet. So we'll click on that and see what happens. Yeah, it's wanting us to manually get this information. So let's see here. So. I'll enable a screen recording here so we can get a really good view of this. So this is the uh, Samsung Health app. So you just go right here, Samsung Health. And normally right off, whoops, normally right off this home screen, you'll see sleep, but right there, were you asleep? It didn't track it. Uh, this is the second or third time so this is happening about once per month. So kind of a bummer. So now if I go in here and it says, okay, was I asleep? Yes, I can rate my sleep. Oh, four stars. I think I should have slept a little longer. And then I click save. There's not much data. Oh, well, I get my little badge of waking up all the time. And that's always nice. But that, that's it. There's no sleep cycles or anything. And if we go back to trends, go to yesterday, it's quite a bit different from when your watch tracks it. So now, what happened? If we go back to heart rate, we should be able to see a trend from last night. And uh, this, this has been taking a while to uh, open up. Here, let me turn back on the data. Yep, any second now. So all I can think of is that maybe the heart rate malfunctioned and because it didn't track the heart rate, it also didn't track sleep. So we'll have to come back to this. This is taking forever. Hang on a second. All right, I rebooted the application, Samsung Health. And now we'll go to heart rate. It's currently connected to the watch now. And if we go to trends, there we go. So there's 11 a.m., 10 a.m. Yeah, so it's it's getting information. 3.20 in the morning, 60. So it was getting heart rate. It was detecting my heart rate last night. But for some strange reason, it still did not detect any sleep patterns or any sleep cycles. So not quite sure what went wrong, but this sounds like a bug that Samsung needs to fix. And if you notice, yeah, my watch is at 40%. It was at over 50% when I went home. And we'll check the uh, heart rate settings. Actually, it's easier to just to swipe, go to heart rate. Scroll on down here, settings, every 10 minutes, which will even do REM cycles. So this is what we're missing just in case you're skipping through the video. So we go to sleep. Go up to trends, go to yesterday. That's what your sleep should look like. You should have the awake, REM, light, and deep sleep. But when there's an error, you have to manually enter to sleep and that's, that, that's all you get. But hey, it does tell me that I burned almost 500 calories while I slept, so that's nice. Hopefully Samsung will work on that. Uh, it's pretty rare that this happened with Fitbit and with Garmin, 
and I'll show you what the Garmin data looks like, just for fun, since we can't look at anything, and to prove that I did actually sleep last night. So right now it's doing a quick synchronization with the, uh, this is the Garmin First Avenger, in case you're wondering, it's that watch right there. And this is the sleep data that it gets. So I slept for seven hours and 21 minutes, and I might need to adjust my time there. It looks like I went to bed at 22.34 and woke up at 0600. So we'll just adjust that. And save. Well, hey, but now it says 561 calories. So that's it. I just wanted to show you that Samsung is not perfect. I know a lot of you are shocked, and sometimes you'll wake up and you'll check out your sleep data. No sleep record today. That's just a bummer. Well, that's all for now. And yeah, please like and subscribe to my channel. And I hope to bring you more content in the next three days, or perhaps sooner. That's PH Digital with another review of the Samsung Active 2 smartwatch. That's all for now. Thanks. Bye-bye.